guys and welcome or welcome back into my little world. We are joined with Lil Pumpa. He came and sat on his mummy's lap. Hello. So today guys I thought I'd explain the way that my little brain works in terms of how I structure my week, my training and schedule everything into my calendar. <coughs> oh I hope you don't snore the whole video. <coughs> Last week I said in my video that my training week starts on a Saturday and then my normal week starts on a Sunday. Now, I'm very big on organizing and planning, so I love to freaking plan my week ahead. I'll explain the best way possible, but essentially like I start my whole week on a Sunday. Now, I don't like start my week on a Monday because Sunday is my day that I set up for success for the whole week. So if I haven't done my groceries already, Sunday morning, I'll do my groceries. I'll meal prep, I'll do all the things to make sure that I'm set up for the week ahead. I'll do the washing, clean the house, clean my space, literally just do everything and anything that is going to make sure that I have the best possible chance to have a successful week the week ahead. My schedule has changed a little bit and Mondays and Wednesdays at work are my biggest days. I don't finish work until 12 o'clock and sometimes I don't get home until like 12.30. And I know that this still might sound early to some people, but, I personally don't like training in the afternoon and because I start at 5.30, I'm not quite keen enough to get out of bed and train prior to working. <laughs> Generally what I'll do, I'll get to work or just after 5am I'll get to work and I'll still do my steps or like some sort of movement in the morning. So I'll do about 20 minutes or something before my first client so at least I do have some steps already done. In terms of training in the afternoon after all my clients on a Monday and a Wednesday, I'm not doing it. And I used to train every single Monday. It was literally the mindset of never miss a Monday. But because my brain works a little bit differently to some people, I've decided that I start my training week on a Saturday. Now, it sounds freaking wild, but it makes sense in my brain. Let me explain. Mentally for me, starting my week on a Saturday in terms of training, Saturday is day one. Sunday is day two. Monday is a rest day. Tuesday we train. Wednesday we rest. Thursday we train. Friday we rest. I'm only training four days a week at the moment. Four weights, no cardio, just 10,000 steps a day. But in my mind, because I used to think never miss a Monday, I still hate starting my week <laughs> like on a Tuesday. So instead I decided let's start my training week on a Saturday. <laughs> It sounds so weird saying it out loud, but I hope that this makes sense to some people. I know it's silly, but it makes me feel like I'm ahead of the game. So by starting on a Saturday, it's like I've already trained two days a week. And then when I get to Monday, I'm like, I've already trained twice this week and it's only Monday. So I don't know. My little brain works a little bit different, but it works for me. So let me know what day of the week do you start your week? Is it a Sunday? or a Monday, or you're a bit fucked up like me and choose a different day of the week and do what you want. Now that I've explained how my brain works and what my week looks like, let me take you through what Saturday, Sunday looks like and then I'll take you through, what day is it today? Thursday. I'll take you through what Monday looks like as well. So I'll vlog the whole weekend, do Saturday, Sunday training, and then Monday what my morning, so what my morning looks like. So one last thing before I go, it's been so cold the last few days in Sydney. Like it went from being like a nice spring slash literally summer to now it's freaking freezing and windy and cold. I'm not vibing it, but I'm vibing this jumper from Muscle Nation because it's keeping me nice and toasty. And you can use my code at checkout to save 10%. Good morning, guys. It is Saturday and I actually forgot that today is going to look a little bit different to what it normally looks like because I have work this morning. It's currently 5.30, just woken up. I'm gonna have my little pre-workout, my supplements, and then I'm gonna go to the gym. As soon as I finish at the gym, I'm going to work. Normally, I'd probably stay back and do steps or even go out for a walk, but that's not gonna happen today because I'm going to work.
Sorry, Emily. My holiday officially started with the stoves. So I have had like the chillest day, got up, went to the gym, went to work, went out for breakfast with Natto and then I've pretty much done not a lot, like I washed my hair, I watched two episodes of Emily in Paris, it is now just after 1.30 and I've just put some chicken in the air fryer to make my lunch and then I'm going to get ready to go out to a friend's hens later tonight. Papa, come on, you want to cuddle your mommy? Hello. No eyebrows, no mascara, wait for this glow up. Brows and eyes on bitch, we got it. And I also put some earrings in, I never wear earrings. And as you can see, both sides are different. And to be honest, I actually used to wear different color earrings all the time. So I thought, you know what, bring it back. Full fit check. And we just got a jacket, which I have had for I don't even know how long, at least 10 years, because it was back when ICE was around, if anyone remembers ICE and Supre. Um, and then just this long ass dress, some guest shoes, and I was gonna wear my hair out, but we're doing some activities, so I thought, let's just pull my hair back, and then it's up and out of my face. So I finished at the gym, I just pulled up at home and it is fucking freezing. I was gonna go for my coastal walk afterwards, but listen, I am not wearing appropriate clothing to do my coastal walk right now. So this video was supposed to literally show you exactly how I do my weekends. However, it's been a spanner in the works and a shit show. <laughs> so I hope that this has made sense so far, but I'm about to go inside and go and do my meal prep. And I will go out for my coast walk later today or go for a walk around the block, but I'm gonna go inside and put some appropriate clothing on so I don't freeze my little titties off. Okay, all the pumpkin is cut up and put into little Ziploc bags. I've got five of them. And if you're an OG, then you would know that this week we're having nachos. And I've already done the turkey mince and corn. So all I have to do, I don't want to spill this. All I have to do, I spilt it, is <laughs> heat that up and pop the pumpkin in the air fryer. So I'll show you how I do that tomorrow. And I have finished my pasta bake. And I'm about to, you know, get that all sorted and put into containers. So again, I've made six servings. So Natto will have one lunch tomorrow and I will have five lunches for the week. Actually, five breakfasts for me, sorry. Breakfast is pasta bake. Lunch is going to be naturals. Normally what I would do is sit down before I go food shopping and write down what meals we're having on what night. I haven't done that yet, but I've already gone food shopping. And because I've been doing this for so long, like I already pretty much know what I'm gonna be getting at the supermarket, but I'll still show you that I still write down like on a piece of paper or, you know, on our little whiteboard, what we're actually having. So it's visible and you can see it. So usually at home, what we'll do is have it stuck on the fridge. So then every time you walk into the fridge, you're like, all right, tonight we're having chicken and veggies. Tomorrow we're having steak and, pasta weird combo but no anyways you get my point i'll write down exactly what i have so as soon as you walk into the kitchen you don't need to think about it you just need to get out what you're having that night and cook it i thought i'd mention when i meal prep you might have noticed that i weighed stuff before i cooked it after i've cooked it like right now i'm just eyeballing it like i've just divided it into six different containers and i'm trying to eyeball it evenly but if you know that you're eating all of these meals over the course of a week, sure, maybe one of them's like a little bit, a little bit fuller than the other one. But overall, don't need to be so anal about this is exactly what I'm having this day. This is exactly what I'm having this day. There's no point weighing it five different times. I just weigh everything before I cook it. I'm like, sweet, divide all of that by six. And then once it's cooked, you don't need to worry about dividing it and weighing it and doing all this stuff again. Like it's all, it's all together. Like, especially with this, like this one, this probably has way more peas than this one that has way more corn. 
but over the course of the week, you're still consuming the same amount of stuff. So I've got a little calendar. I actually, looking at this, I didn't do last week, so apologies, but this is what I usually do. So I'll write down, this is just for meals, just for meals and if we've got any events over the weekend. So it's Sunday, so tonight we're having steak. Tomorrow is Monday. Monday we can have chicken. Tuesday we will have lamb steaks. And then Wednesday, we're actually probably going to have takeout because the kitchen will be very busy um, hosting people for dinner. Thursday, we go back to chicken. Friday, next weekend, we're going to the farm. Another thing that seems so simple as well that just I have done my whole life is getting your clothes out the night before. So I'm getting all my work stuff ready. I've already done the washing. Like I'll put undies, I wear socks to bed, so I don't need to put socks out. Um, undies, top, tights, jumper. And then I've also got another jumper in the cupboard that I'll get out to put over the top of that. Yeah, just setting everything out the night before is just, again, you don't need to think about anything. Like the day before or the night before, like, you know, pack your little lunchbox or get everything out ready to go to make your breakfast or whatever. Like I'm very big on just planning ahead. Like there's no guesswork. Like how many times do you wake up and be like, oh my God, what am I gonna wear today? Oh my God, shit, I'm running late. Like just get your stuff out the night before, lay it out. And then as soon as you wake up, you don't even have to think about it. You just have to chuck your clothes on and that's it. That's actually also a great hack. If you do struggle to like get out of bed and you need to go to the gym before you go to work, just set out your gym clothes the night before. As soon as you wake up and roll out of bed, they are on the floor. Like they are right next to you. You do not have a choice but to put those gym clothes on and get to the gym and do your thing. I'm not joking guys. Like it's freezing in Sydney today. So damn cold. I've got tights on. I've got a long sleeve shirt on, trackies that I'm tucking into my shirt because it's freezing. And now I've got my puffy jacket on. I really don't feel like going for a coastal walk, but I know that it'll make me feel better because I freaking love coastal walks. Guys, I'm never skipping my coastal walk ever again. I haven't even been for one yet. It has taken me an hour and seven minutes to get to the beach. Do you know how long it usually takes me? 15 minutes it has taken me do the maths way too fucking long to get to the beach an hour and seven minutes like i'm sweating and i haven't even walked yet because i'm just so like Ugh! also just for some context like there's a freaking marathon today in sydney so the traffic is completely fucked up oh, my gosh it is so windy but I am sweating my ass off. It's just past 12 o'clock. I just got home. And if you don't know, I work face-to-face -face at Simplicity Personal Training, which is in Mascot in Sydney, if anyone is interested in signing up for face-to-face -face coaching. But my online business, Enchanted, is completely separate. So I'm employed face-to-face and I don't use my own ABN or anything like that. But then my online business is completely my own thing, all online, no face-to-face, -face, so it doesn't connect with each other. But I'm just about to go through all my clients' check-ins for the eight-week challenge, which is awesome. I can't wait to see how they're going. And then I'll just do some like general admin, like responding to any of their messages from over the weekend or do any updates, have a look through their program, see how they're going, check in on their weight and all of that sort of stuff. I also need to send out what their focus is for this week. So 150 grams of pumpkin. I'm going to go straight into the air I've got my cheese out, I've got my sour cream, and we've got our wraps to make the chippies. Let's go see my little baby. I can see him from here. I hope he doesn't move, but he probably will. But all I can see is his little feet. His little feet are like just there. Oh, oh sorry, did I wake you? Are you sleeping in the sun? Is it nice and toasty out here? Oh, look at you. Hello. Oh, you feel nice and toasty in the sun. <laughs> so now on the other side of the air fryer, I, whoa, I'm going to just use some canola spray. Spray that on top just like that. And then I'm going to put some garlic powder just slightly on the top of those. I'm also just going to put a little bit of smoked paprika just to give it a little bit of flavor. Put the chips which were, was the wrap, the pumpkin, and I've just heated up that in the microwave. 
But now I'm going to add in my sour cream. And now I am trying to be good this week and weigh all my stuff. So 20 grams of this. We allowed 25 grams of cheese. We'll see how much. Yep, 25. This next step is not completely necessary. You can put it in the microwave just to melt that cheese. Or what I'm gonna do is just quickly whack it in the, the oven just so the cheese just melts just a little bit. But please take note, if you do do this, you don't want to put it in the oven too long because the chips will also go very crispy. Almost burnt crispy. One thing I forgot to add before I put it in the oven was my sweet chili sauce. So uh, this one is the light one. It's actually really good for calories. Chuck a little bit of that on there. I think I've allowed 30 grams. That's 16 grams. I probably won't use 30 grams, but I haven't used this for a while. So I allowed a little bit more than what I should. So I will change that in my fitness pal, 20 grams. Does that not look freaking sensational?